You might be thinking about whether to build or buy pricing software. In this video, I'm gonna go through a few key points that you wanna consider as you think about that. I'm Gabe Smith, Chief Evangelist for PriceFX. I've been in the pricing software industry now for about 15 years. Before that, I built custom software, both as a consultant as well as an employee of Cisco Systems, a large manufacturing company. I'm gonna give you some of the most important points to consider when you're thinking about whether to build or buy pricing software. The first thing to consider is cost. Now, while the cost initially may look lower for a build versus buy. One of the things that you have to consider is all the little things that go into building an application, including integrating it, supporting it, enhancing it over time, uh, adding you know features that are you may not even think about as core features like accessibility, two-factor authentication, uh, things like that. So those things can really add up. So I would encourage you to really think about all of the user stories, not just the key functionality, but all of the things that go into making an enterprise software application. When you add all those things up, a lot of times that changes the balance between the cost of a build versus buy. The other thing to consider is that a large percentage of enterprise software projects, custom projects, actually go over budget and go over time significantly. So look at the studies yourself. We, we link to a couple in the in the story here, but that's something that you do want to consider and not take the estimate that you initially get from your IT team necessarily at face value. So the next thing to consider is time to value. When you're building software, I think it's pretty apparent that it's gonna take you longer than to implement a package solution. Now, when we think about building a solution for any large enterprise, it's gonna take generally nine to 12 months at least versus implementing, you can go, be live in as little as three months. And the opportunity cost of that time when you're talking about something with as high of a return on investment as pricing software can be really significant. So that's another thing to consider. The third thing to consider is the trade-off between control and flexibility. If you build a solution, you'll have 100% control over what it does and how it does it, but it's really up to you as a business user to define that with your IT team, and you have to have trust in your IT team's ability to deliver it the way that you want it. On the other side, you won't have as much control over the way that the system works. It's gonna work according to kind of how it's architected, but you will have more flexibility going forward, and you also have access to innovation on the SaaS platform as time progresses. So it's really a trade-off between having that complete control and the flexibility on the build versus the buy. So the fourth consideration that you wanna think about is support and maintenance. If you build software, you're gonna be responsible for both maintaining it supporting it and enhancing it going forward. Now that could be quite a burden on both the business and the IT organization. And a lot of times what happens is that you have to kind of get in line to get IT support to, to get a fix or get a new feature added. Now with a professional software vendor, what you're gonna see is that there's a professional support organization to make sure that the application's running and that you can smoothly use it and do your day-to-day -day business processes in the quote to cash space. And you'll also see that you're gonna get enhancements and features and upgrades and innovations as time progresses. So that's an important consideration for a lot of companies. So I hope you enjoyed this video and had some key takeaways about what you should consider when you're thinking about building versus buying pricing software. For more information on this topic, visit our learning center where you can find the article pricing software, build versus buy, which is best for you. Thank you for tuning into the pricing channel. We make a video like this every week. And if you found this content useful, please like, share, and subscribe. Happy pricing.